In this video, by popular request, I'll be reviewing Pear Linux 6. Well, it's actually version 6.1, which is codenamed Bartlett. Oh, and that's what the weather looked like outside lately. It's been raining a lot lately. Anyway, uh, so Pear Linux 6 is a Mac themes type distro. It's very much a blank canvas. Again, uh, that's actually about all the applications you get pre-installed, so uh, nothing much at all, really. Got a few pair specific applications, which I'll come on to in a moment. Now my apologies with reviewing this distro, because it's actually the live distro version we're looking at here. I did install it in VirtualBox, however, I kept getting glitches on the display. It would like blank off this whole corner here. I thought that's no good at all. I would have installed it on my system, but quite frankly I've had enough with UEFI BIOSes lately. I <laughs> think they work in a devil, so oh, I just didn't feel like it. But it's working pretty well in VirtualBox. Right, these are the pair specific applications. We've got Pair App Store, Pair Cleaner, and Pair PPA Manager. And the first thing I noticed, there's a lot of chinglish around here. Pair PPA Manager, work with Pair Linux 6. Some functions may not work with other distros. And the Pair App Store. Hard info. What does that say? I don't know. And it's the same with all these reviews. There's a lot of Chinese writing on here. And I think I know why, because this is just a rebadged version of Deepin or Depin Package Manager, which is a Chinese distro. And one minor bug on here that the theme doesn't really match the rest of the system for the Pair App Store. Then we've got Pair PPA Manager, just look at what PPAs they've provided, and it's, well, it's just what looks like their own PPA. And the Pair Cleaner, just a few utilities here just to clean up the system a little bit. So that's just going to empty the trash, Package Cache, and Firefox Cache. So really nothing harmful there, nothing wrong with running that. So we'll take a look at the few applications we get installed. Now you can filter the applications just by clicking up here. You've got the different filtering, accessories, graphics, internet, etc. Or you can type in the name of the application you're after. So Firefox, it brings it up. Opening applications is about as responsive as I would expect from a normal Linux distro. Let's take a look what we got pre-installed. I was just thinking of staying on this screen, but look, let's just split the accessories off. That's about the basic assortment of accessories we'd expect to see on a Linux distro. Uh, we'll just go back to the main overview now. There's nothing under graphics. Internet just has two programs, it's Empathy and Firefox. Office, all you've got is Document Viewer. Multimedia, all you've got is Brazio, Disk Burner. There is no media players on here at all. You've got to go and install your own from the Pair App Store or Synaptic Package Manager. So under system tools, you've got quite a few things under here. I'll just take a look at the system monitor. Bear in mind, I'm running off a live CD here, so memory usage is fairly high. Normally it would be a lot lower than this. I think, what was it, around three to 400, I think it was running at. CPU usage is pretty low, so that's quite a nice, fairly lightweight distro. Well, here's what I thought of Pear Linux 6.1. So easy to use. Well, it's not really an out-of-the-box distro. You've got to do some work in installing all the applications that you're going to want and all the codecs. Uh, ease of installation, um, actually perfectly fine. It was a GUI installer. Uh, styling, uh, nice and glossy and shiny, but it didn't really blow me away enough to give me five out of five. Uh, boot up speed was around nine seconds, fairly average. Uh, responsiveness, again, fairly average. Uh, Number of bugs, it's just a pair app store. There's theme and language issues with it, really. And one I'm just pointing out here, but not holding it against the distro, that there were some display issues within VirtualBox. But I've seen other people reviewing it in VirtualBox and they didn't seem to have the same issues. And in fact, sometimes I didn't have the same issues either. It, luck of the draw on that one. Anyway, a selection of pre-installed applications was very sparse, but then again, it seems to be a make your own type distro. A number of applications available, reasonable, got both the 32 and 64-bit versions. So the good points. Well, it's a nice Mac-style distro with a blank canvas for you to well, make your own system with your preferred set of applications, and it feels a lot easier to use than the vanilla GNOME desktop. The bad points are that there's some chinglish on the pair-specific applications. So overall, I've given this distro 80%. So thanks for watching. See you later.